بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. My dear, respected, beloved brothers and sisters, السلام عليكم. May the peace and blessings of Almighty Allah be with each and every one of you. I take this opportunity to welcome you to our daily live stream broadcast. This program is coming to you from your Zawiya here at the Islamic Forum of Canada. We thank you for joining us today and we hope you can be with us every day at 7 p.m. Toronto time. We kindly request you to contact your family members, your relatives, your friends and other Muslims you know. Tell them about this program and remind them to sign in to the chat now. Inshallah, they will benefit from the program and you will receive great blessings from Almighty Allah. The first segment of our program consists of special Quran recitation, followed by sacred words of dhikr, then a special dua for each and every one of you. The second segment of our program consists of special lectures for your educational upliftment. The third segment of our program focuses on Qasida training for you. The fourth and final segment is the interactive segment, including Q&A, question and answer session, project updates, my concluding remarks, and a special dua for everyone. Once again, thank you for being a part of the IFC family. We hope you enjoy and you benefit from this program. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahmanir rahim. Maliki yawmid deen. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'een. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تبارك الذي بيده الملك وهو على كل شيء قدير الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور الذي خلق سبع سماوات تباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فارجع البصر هل ترى من فتور ثم ارجع البصر كرتين ينقلب إليك البصر خاسئا وهو حسين ولقد زينا السماء الدنيا بمصابيح وجعلناها رجوما للشياطين وأعتدنا لهم عذاب السعير وللذين كفروا بربهم عذاب جهنم وبئس المصير إذا ألقوا فيها سمعوا لها شهيقا وهي تفور تكاد تميز من الغيظ 
كلما ألقي فيها فوج سألهم خزنتها ألم يأتكم نذير قالوا بلى قد جاءنا نذير فكذبنا وقلنا ما نزل الله من شيء إن أنتم إلا في ضلال كبير وقالوا لو كنا نسمع أو نعقل ما كنا في أصحاب السعير فاعترفوا بذنبهم فسحقا لأصحاب السعير إن الذين يخشون ربهم بالغيب لهم مغفرة وأجر كبير وأسروا قولكم أو اجهروا به إنه عليم بذات السدور ألا يعلم من خلق وهو اللطيف الخبير هو الذي جعل لكم الأرض ذلولا فامشوا في مناكبها وكلوا من رزقه وإليه النشور أأمنتم من في السماء أن يخسف بكم الأرض فإذا هي تمور أم أمنتم من في السماء أن يرسل عليكم حاصبا فستعلمون كيف نذير ولقد كذب الذين من قبلهم فكيف كان نكير أولم يروا إلى طير فوقهم صافات ويقبض ما يمسكهن إلا الرحمن إنه بكل شيء بصير أمن هذا الذي هو جن لكم ينسركم من دون الرحمن إن الكافرون إلا في غلور أم من هذا الذي يرزقكم إن أمسك رزقه بل لجوا في عتو ونفور أفمن يمشي مكبا على وجهه أهدا أمن يمشي سويا على صراط مستقيم قل هو الذي أن شأكم وجعل لكم السمع والأبصار والأفئدة قليلا ما تشكرون قل هو الذي ذرأكم في الأرض وإليه تحشرون ويقولون متى هذا الوعد إن كنتم صادقين قل إنما العلم عند الله وإنما أنا نذير مبين 
فلما رأوه زلفة سيئت وجوه الذين كفروا وقيل هذا الذي كنتم به تدعون قل أرأيتم إن أهلكني الله ومن معي أو رحمنا فمن يجير الكافرين من عذاب أليم قل هو الرحمن آمنا به وعليه توكلنا فستعلمون من هو في ضلال مبين قل أرأيتم إن أصبح ماؤكم غورا فمن يأتيكم بماء أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما تقدموا لأنفسكم من خير تجدوه عند الله هو خيرا وأعظم أجرا واستغفر الله إن الله غفور رحيم أستغفر الله 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 العظيم الذي لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم وأتوب إليه إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله
آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمة ذاتك في كل وقت وحين فاعلم أنه لا إله إلا الله 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 
لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين قال لهم الناس إن الناس قد جمعوا لكم فاخشوهم فزادهم إيمانا وقالوا حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل 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 
حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل فانقلبوا بنعمة من الله وفضل لم يمسسهم سوء واتبعوا ردوان الله والله ذو فضل عظيم اللهم يا لطيف ألطف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير اللهم يا لطيف ألطف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير اللهم يا لطيف ألطف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لطيف بعباده يرزق من يشاء وهو القوي العزيز يا لطيف 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 يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه ألطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه ألطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير 
يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه ألطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير اللهم يا من لطفت في خلق السماوات والأرض ولطفت بالأجنة في بطون أمهاتها ألطف بنا لطفا يليك بكرمك ورحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله اللهم يا من جعلت الصلاة على النبي من القربات نتقرب إليك بكل صلاة سليت عليه من أول النشأة إلى ما لا نهاية من الكمالات بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما 
على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى اله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى اله وصحبه في كل لمحه ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك إن شاء الله وكنتني وذكر جامعة لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله إن شاء الله مكتوعا اللهم آمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين 
Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama sallaita ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim innaka Hamidum Majid Allahumma barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama barakta ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim fil alamin innaka Hamidum Majid O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for our Shaykh, Teacher, Murshid, and Master, Sayyidina Shaykh Faisal Hamid Abdul Razak. O oh Allah, may you increase him in knowledge and wisdom. O oh Allah, may you protect him from evil, and we pray that he will lead his marids on the straight path towards you. O oh Allah, we pray for the Shaykh and his family. We pray that you strengthen them in Iman, keep them in good health, and grant them long life in Islam. O oh Allah, we pray that you protect them from all evil, ease their trials, and grant them the sweetness of paradise. رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَا وَقِينَا عَذَابِ النَّارِ Allah forgive us for our sins and guide us on the straight path leading to paradise. O oh Allah, you know the needs of all of us present here. O oh Allah, answer our dua and take care of our needs. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for our parents that you grant them your grace and mercy as they raised us in childhood. O oh, oh Allah, grant our parents long life and good health in Islam. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, forgive our parents and grant them paradise. O oh Allah, for our parents who have passed away and returned to you, O oh Allah, we beg you to forgive them. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for all the marids of Shaykh Faisal throughout the world. O oh Allah, we pray that you ease our trials and grant, and grant us the strength to face our trials. O oh Allah, make it easy for us to gain true knowledge and to practice it, to be good marids and to get ever closer to you. O oh Allah, you know the needs of all of the marids. O oh Allah, we beg you to answer our, our dua and take care of our needs. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for all the Muslims around the world. O oh Allah, we pray that you strengthen us in Iman. O oh Allah, we pray for unity and to make us stronger as a nation. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please comfort and relieve all Muslims who are suffering and have suffered losses. O oh Allah, you are the all-powerful and the almighty. O oh Allah, we beg you to give us victory against the unbelievers. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for the International Islamic Forum and al fasl al halaka May you make it easy for us to establish many messages for your sake. May you bless the Islamic Forum and al Fasli al Dakar Halaka to be a beacon of to be a beacon of light for Islam throughout the world. And may help us to finish building the new masjid soon and make it easy for us to do so. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadan wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifun wa Salamun ala al Mursani walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar La ilaha illallah Sayyidina Muhammadun Rasulullah Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa sha'bana wa balighna ramadan Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa sha'bana wa balighna ramadan اللهم بارك لنا في رجب وشعبان وبلغنا رمضان 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 
اللهم بارك لنا في رجب وشعبان وبلغنا رمضان اللهم بارك لنا في رجب وشعبان وبلغنا رمضان أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما تقدموا لأنفسكم من خير تجدوه عند الله هو خيرا وأعظم أجرا واستغفروا الله إن الله غفور رحيم استغفر الله 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 العظيم الذي لا اله الا هو الحي القيوم واتوب اليه وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي 
wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim tasliman bi qadri azamati dhatika fi kulli waqtin wa hin a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim فَعَلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ 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 لا اله الا الله 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 
La ilaha illallah 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 Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Ameen Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa sha'bana wa balighna ramadhan Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa sha'bana wa balighna ramadhan اللهم بارك لنا في رجب وشعبان وبلغنا رمضان 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 أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in Wa ashadu an la ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika la 
وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا اللهم أعزنا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وأصلح لنا شأننا كله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد my dear respected brothers and sisters, my dear Murids, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to our special program. This is our daily broadcast uh, coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada starting at 7 p.m. Uh, every day. Uh, we welcome you to our program. We thank you for tuning in to our broadcast today. We hope you can join us every day at 7 p.m. Toronto time or Eastern time. We kindly request you to reach out to others and tell them about this program. Uh, your family members, your relatives, your friends, uh, other Muslims you know. Tell them about the program, invite them to watch the program. Inshallah, they'll benefit from the program and you will re receive increased blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We also kindly request you to enter your information in the chat, uh, your name and city where you're from, and your updates for the three ongoing projects, the Gratitude Project, the Salawat Project, and the Quran Project. We also want to recognize uh, our sponsors for the dinner program today and all those that have sponsored the dinner program for this program. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them, inshallah. And also our donors, we want to uh, thank them and make special to offer them for, the, for supporting us financially, supporting the Islamic Forum and making generous donations to Islam from all those who donated today, yesterday and before. Uh, we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all our donors, bless their families, bless their loved ones, answer all their dua, enrich them many more times than what they donate to the Islamic Forum. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase them in his sustenance, in his risk because of their donation to the Islamic Forum of Canada. We also want to make special dua for all those who requested dua, there are several. Uh, brothers and sisters and families that have requested du'a, we include all of them in du'a uh, for our program today. And all those who enter their information in the chat, uh, we make special du'a for them. And for each and every one of you, we make special du'a for each and every one of you. Whatever du'a you want to make, please uh, keep that knee in your heart and we make du'a, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, accept uh, your du'a. And I also want to include my entire family in dua, my wife, my children, uh, my sisters and my siblings and their family, uh, my entire family, and especially my mom and my dad. Make special love for them and I kind of request you to remember them in your dua, if possible, inshallah. We also want to mention that for this program, our concern is your safety, your well-being your security, your afia, uh, and firstly, and, and secondly, uh, your spirituality, your connection uh, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, your closeness with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we want to direct you on that path, to achieve that objective of more closeness, 
greater closeness and nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa your spirituality. Those are two important concerns for our program. And uh, I also want to mention that uh, to this end, uh, we have several things that we mention every day, the action items we to do and the lectures that we do uh, to help you to achieve the, uh, this important objective, your safety and well-being and your spirituality. We, we've also prepared for you, the uh, admin staff, the staff here at the Islam Forum, prepared especially for you, uh, some special video uh, lectures, video clips. There's a series, series that we have prepared for you uh, about the life history of the Prophet And then there is what another series called the Editor's Pick. These are spe special short videos for you, for your, your enjoyment, for your benefit for to increase in knowledge and get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we are always preparing uh, more information for you, for your benefit. All of this free of charge, only for you to benefit from inshallah. And if you would like to receive uh, these uh, special video clips and video series, please uh, send us your email address to the email address we use for this program, shaykhfaisal at gmail.com. And also your WhatsApp number, if you have a WhatsApp number, so we can put you on the WhatsApp list. Uh, and especially the email list. This is the most frequent way of communicating with you and sending you all of this information. So do send us your email address so you can receive the special uh, video series, the editor's pick, the serial series, and other series that we are preparing for your benefit, inshallah. Today I also want to say something uh, specifically about one of our projects, the Infaq project, of the importance of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To, to share with you some reflections on some of the verses in the Quran, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about the importance of spending in the cause of Allah. I share with you first a beautiful hadith uh, from Sayyidina Abu Dhar al ghifari radiallahu anhu. This noble companion, uh, Sayyidina Abu Dhar radiallahu anhu, he had a, a unique habit uh, that he would do, and the Sahabas would notice this, and they, they, they asked him about it. And this habit was that after each and every salah, fard salah, five times a day in Masjid al-Nabawi in Medina, after each salah, he would give some sadaqah. Each for salah. So that he's doing it five times a day after the five daily salah. Fajr, Dhuhr, Asir, Maghrib, Isha. He's giving him some sadaqah, finding some poor person, someone in need, giving them. And he, he wasn't a wealthy person by no means. There were other sahabs that were much more wealthier than him. But he had uh, this uh, beautiful habit that he would do. And sometimes it may just be a small, something small he's giving us sadaqah, sharing some dates with some, with, uh, some of the other uh, companions who were in need and so on. But he would engage in sadaqah regularly after each salah, uh, five times a day. And so uh, some of the companions, the sahabs, ask him why he's doing that. Why every day after each and every salah, they notice that he's giving sadaqah, he's doing charity. Uh, and they asked him about it. He said, do you not read the book of Allah, the Quran? Uh, and he says that every time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to pray, he always commands us to uh, give charity. And when you look at the Quran, you see uh, this is true. It's a, it's, a, it's a statement of fact. That where of Allah subhanahu wa says, Wa aqimu salah, and establish prayer. He's always following it up, Wa atu zakat, and give zakat. Zakat uh, in, the, in the generic sense, meaning all forms of charity. Uh, so he did, immediately after uh, the command of salah, in the same verse or the next verse, it's there, it's connected. Always, throughout the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us to pray, commanding us to pray, and He's telling, commanding us to uh, give charity. 
And so he, say, he said that's why he's doing it. After each and every salah, five daily salah he's doing, he took this uh, command literally and he's doing it. And so he had this beautiful practice that the Sahabas uh, also followed as much as they could, as best as they could. Uh, Sayyidina Budhar al ghifari I wanted to share this with you so that you can develop this habit, bearing in mind what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed to us in the Quran about uh, establishing prayer, the command, wa aqimu salah, establish prayer, the command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa atu zakat, and give charity. This is how uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has this beautiful command in the Quran. Then, at the very beginning of the Quran, Surah Al Baqarah, after Surah Al Fatiha, Surah Al Baqarah, the very beginning, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala establishes the importance of spending in the way of Allah. In fact, fi sabilillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals, Alif la meem, thalika al kitabu la rayba fi hudalil muttaqeen. So, two important concepts are mentioned here. This is the book. This is a book in which there is no doubt. There's no, there, there are no doubts. There, there are no uh, mistakes. There are no inaccuracies in this book, in the Quran. This is a perfect book, without any mistakes. And, and this is a unique book, uh, the Quran. No other book you would see that happening, e even a book today. Uh, and the author would not say, uh, I'm writing this book now and I guarantee there are no mistakes in this book. Because the moment he is, does that, people start looking for mistakes in that book. That's the first thing they're doing, searching for mistakes and finding it and then telling him or publishing it, oh, there are mistakes in the book. Your, your, your claim is a fake claim. That, that's what they would say. And so the Meccans, the people in Mecca, the Quraysh, they did this actually. They were looking at the book and trying to find faults in the book, trying to produce something like it. Challenge, uh, respond to the challenges in the Quran, and they could never do that. They could never do that. So the first thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala establishes about this book. The, in this book, there are no mistakes, no doubts, no inaccuracies, no ambiguities, nothing like that. It's a perfect book. The most perfect book ever in all of creation. The book of Allah. And then he says, Huda lil muttaqeen. And it is guidance for those who fear Allah, for those who are conscious of Allah, for those who are mindful of their duties to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For the believer, the believers, you're mindful of duty, duties to Allah. Who is it that would benefit from this book? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us right at the very beginning. Huda lil muttaqeen. This book, even it's a perfect book, the perfect book of guidance, that would give you success in this life and in the hereafter. But not everyone will benefit from this book. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, it is guidance, it will benefit certain people with certain characteristics. And he tells us, muttaqeen, people of taqwa. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains who they are. Alladina yu'minuna bil ghaib. Those who believe in the unseen. In meaning what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed, that they believe everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed, even though they cannot see it. Because usually, normal human behavior is that they, people want to see something in order to believe it. They claim this. If they see it, they'll believe it. But sometimes, if their heart, if their heart is diseased, that they, even when they see it, they would not believe it. And this happened to the unbelievers. Allah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this in the Quran. Even when they saw the truth, they would not believe it. But Allah SWT says, those who will benefit from the Quran, they believe in the unseen. وَيُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةِ And they establish prayer. They establish prayer. وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ And they spend of what we have bestowed upon them. Look again here, right, right at the very beginning. They establish prayer and then immediately followed by the, the command or the description of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from what we've given them, they spend for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So those are the people now that will benefit from the guidance in the Quran. They spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
And you don't know how that guidance will come to you. How that benefit will come to you. Because this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when you spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you his guidance, will bless you with his guidance. You, you'll find see that you start to understand this Quran more and uh, your inner thoughts are guided and are purified and you're motivated to do good things. You're granted the tawfiq to do good things. There, there are many people who uh, may want to do good things, but they don't get wrong to doing it. And then others are guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that they are able to do good things for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, and, and, and so uh, in this, this ayah, Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 1 to 5, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is establishing this important principle for us. Who are the ones, who are the people that will be, will be blessed or will benefit? from the guidance of the Qur'an. Who will be guided by this Qur'an? Huda lil muttaqeen. Among the, their characteristics is that they spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa mimma razaqunahum yunfikun. Yet again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, also in Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah number 177, a special ayah. This ayah is called Ayatul Birr. Ayatul Birr. Chapter 2, verse 177. There, there are some ayahs in Quran that have a, a title. The most famous one is Ayatul Kursi that you all know. Uh, chapter 2, uh, verse 255. Surah Al-Baqarah 255. Right? Uh, that, that's one example. This is another example. Ayatul Bir. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains what is not Bir and what is Bir. And Bir is the pinnacle of the good qualities of the believers. Like the believers have good qualities. The Muslimun, Mu'minun, Muttaqun, Qanitun, Sabirun, and so on. The pinnacle of that is Bir, to have Bir. Al-Abrar. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this Ayatul Bir 177 states, لَيْسَ الْبِرَّ أَن تُوَلُّوا وُجُوهَكُمْ قِبَلَ الْمَشْرِقِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ وَلَكِنَّ الْبِرَّ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَلَكِنَّ الْبِرَّ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةِ وَالْكِتَابِ وَالنَّبِيِّينَ وَآتَ الْمَالَ عَلَى حُبِّهِ ذَوِي الْقُرْبَى وَالْيَتَامَى وَالْمَسَاكِينَ وَابْنَ السَّبِيلِ وَالسَّائِلِينَ وَفِي الرِّقَابِ وَأَقَامَ الصَّلَاةَ وَآتَ الزَّكَاةَ وَالْمُوفُونَ بِعَهْدِهِمْ إِذَا عَاهَدُوا وَالصَّابِرِينَ فِي الْبَأْسَاءِ وَالضَّرَّاءِ وَحِينَ الْبَأْسِ أُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُتَّقُونَ So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, It is not righteousness or beer that you turn your faces to the east or west. The directions and so on that you turn, meaning your outward deportment, uh, how you are outwardly. That is not really uh, your true righteousness or beer. But it is righteousness to believe in Allah and the last day and the angels and the book and the messengers and to spend of your sustenance. So Allah SWT mentions what is truly beer. Start with our carnal iman, the things that we believe in, the, the necessary essential articles of faith. And then immediately to spend of what you own, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, blessed you with. Out of love for Him, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَآتَ الْمَالَ عَلَىٰ حُبِّهِ That you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you spend of what, Allah, of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted to you. You give charity, you give sadaqah, you do infaq, fi sabilillah. So that is bir, that is righteousness. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the categories of people, people who are in need that you should, uh, you should spend on good causes and so on. So this is an important 
characteristic of the believer. Here, uh, how is beer described by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What are the characteristics for someone who can achieve the pinnacle of the good qualities of the believer? Bir. They spend out of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to them because of their love for Allah. So it's an indication of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to spend in the way of Allah. It's, it's indicative of your love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is something that we should be mindful of. Truly, uh, spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a great characteristic to have that brings you great benefits in the dunya and in the hereafter. And in the hereafter, day of judgment, there, there are people who would beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send them back into the dunya. They would beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send them back into the dunya. To do what? So that they would engage in sadaqah. They would spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When they, when they see now the, the ghita, the, 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 the covers are taken away from them, they can see reality in the hereafter. وَبَصُرُكَ الْيَوْمَ hadid that in the hereafter, see things clearly, to see the benefit of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they said they wish they could have done more of that. So they beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, send me back into the dunya. Let me live another life so that I can spend in your way. So th this, this, these are great qualities that we should strive to inculcate and at every opportunity strive to spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and grant us tawfiq so that we can spend in His way and He can grant us the great success of the dunya and especially the great success of the akhirah in genital firdaus. Ameen, ameen, ameen. And now we would listen to our special lecture for today. لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين جشني يا مادي رسول الله الله بيبي آمنك بول الله الله Jashne Amani Rasul Allah Ni Allah Bibi Amina Kipul Allah Ni Allah Jabke Sarkar Tashreef La Ne Lagay Kuro Ghilma Bi Khushya Mana Ne Lagay Jabke Sarkar Tashreef La Ne Lagay Kuro Ghilma Bi Khushya Just the Amade Rasul, Allah, Allah, be 
Astaghfirullah, 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 Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah, 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 Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim was salatu was salamu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in On this blessed occasion of the month of Sha'ban al-Mu'azzam being with us we have a new series of lectures relating to the month of Sha'ban this month of Sha'ban is special. The main reason being that the Prophet ﷺ treated this month in a special way. And because he treated this month in a special way, it should be special for us. This month is actually called Shahru Rasul, the month of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam. Yes, such a beautiful description for this month. The month before, uh, Rajab is referred to as Shahrullah, the month of Allah. And uh, this month of Sha'aban is referred to as Shahru Rasul, the month of the Messenger of Allah, of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the next month that's coming soon, the month of Ramadan al-Mubarak, is referred to as Shahrun lil Mu'minin, the month for the believers. So a, a beautiful time indeed, and, and this month, a, a special month with special virtues. There are many important events which took place in this month uh, that caused it to be uh, described as Shahru Rasul, the month of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And uh, so in this special series of lectures, we want to uh, share reflections, special reflections on the month of Sha'aban, its virtues, the virtues of the month of Sha'aban and Mu'addam, the importance and significance, the things we should do in this month to take us close to, closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and closer to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Remember, uh, we, we said in Rajab, uh, we plant the seeds of good deeds. 
in Rajab. And now for Shaban, we nourish and cultivate and water those seeds of good deeds. And then in Ramadan to harvest and reap the rewards, the fruits of those good deeds. So now is the time for cultivation, uh, nourishing, uh, to, to roll up our sleeves and do the hard work so that we can reap uh, a wonderful harvest of spiritual fruits and benefits in Ramadan, the greatest of which is Al-Idku Min nar freedom from the fire of hell. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, take you closer to him and fill uh, our hearts, all of us, with mahabba, love for him and love for Rasulullah wasallam, the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we pray that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq and that you will enjoy this special series of lectures on the month of Sha'aban. And uh, do remember to share this information with everyone you know, family members, relatives, friends, other Muslims you know, so that they can also benefit uh, and know more about the month of Sha'aban, al muazzam May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Ameen. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتع علينا فتوه العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا اللهم أعزنا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وأصلح لنا شأننا كله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear respected brothers and sisters I greet you all with the greetings of Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome to this special series of lectures on the virtues of the blessed month of Sha'aban, the fada'il of the month of Sha'aban, this month of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Today, we want to share some reflections on the pinnacle, the acme, the high point of the month of Sha'aban. And uh, the, the high point of the month of Sha'aban is the Nisf Sha'aban, Layla to Nisf Sha'aban, the, the night of the mid of Sha'aban. This night, this night of the 15th of Sha'aban, is one of the greatest nights in the year with great virtues. Uh, then it's, it's, for example, it's called. Uh, uh, the night of Bara'a, Laylatul Bara'a, or Shabi Bara'at, or the night of freedom from hellfire. Uh, this great night of uh, the mid of Sha'aban, and this is the night accord, uh, which, ta- which occurs between the 14th and the 15th day of Sha'aban. So the night of the 15th, which is the night before the 15th day of Sha'aban. And uh, they, they are many uh, hadith of the Prophet ﷺ and then the uh, sayings of many of the great scholars of Islam uh, 
uh, but specifically the traditions, the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ concerning the special virtues of this night of Nisf Sha'ban. And we share with you some of uh, these narrations, these riwayat, the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ pertaining to this night. Sayyida Aisha, Umm al Mu'mineen, Rajullahu Anha, the mother of the believers, our spiritual mother, the wife of the Prophet, وسلم, she reported that once the Prophet وسلم, performed the salah of the night, the qiyam al the tahajjud salah, and he made a very long sajda until I feared that he had passed away. This is what she said. When I saw this, I got up from my bed, I went over to him and I moved his thumb to see whether he is still alive. And then he moved his thumb and I returned to my place. And then I heard him saying in his sajda and his prostration, I seek refuge of your forgiveness, O Allah, from your punishment. And I seek refuge, O Allah, of your pleasure from your your anger or annoyance. And I seek your refuge, O Allah, from yourself. I cannot praise you as fully as you deserve to be praised. You are exactly as you have defined yourself. Thereafter, when he raised his hand from such and finished his salah, he said to me, O Aisha, did you think that the Prophet had betrayed you? I said, No. O Prophet of Allah, Ya Rasulullah, but I was afraid that your soul had been taken away because your sajda was so very long. He asked me, do you know which night is this? I said, Allah and his messenger know best. He said, this is the night of the mid of Sha'ban, Laylat al-Nisf Sha'ban. Almighty Allah looks upon his slaves in this night and forgives those who seek forgiveness and bestows his mercy upon those who pray for his mercy. But he keeps those who have malice against Muslims as they were before and does not forgive them until they relieve themselves from that malice. So here the Prophet وسلم, in this hadith that's reported by, narrated by Sayyid Aisha, his beloved wife, Rajallahu Anha. And once again, we learn so much about the Prophet ﷺ from the Ummahat al Mu'mineen, the mother of the believers, the wives of the Prophet ﷺ, because of their, their, their close proximity to him, their close contact with him. Uh, in this case, he is in the home of a Sayyidah Aisha, so she is observing what he's doing. And so they are a, a great source of prophetic knowledge. The wives of the Prophet ﷺ, and especially as Sayyidah Aisha, this brilliant genius of that first generation of Muslims. So the Prophet ﷺ, on this night of Nisr Shaban, because he told her that this is the night of Mid of Shaban, Nisr Shaban, he was spending so much long time in his sajda, remained praying in his salah in his sajda, and so long he is spending in his sajda that she thought he had died that he wasn't moving, he was in sajjah for so long because it is the night of Nisf Sha'aban. He told her, he asked her, do you know what night this is? And she, then he told her, it is the night of Midf Sha'aban. And her response is also, it, it, it's, it's indicative of an important adab for the Sahabas. She, the, the Prophet Ali is asking her, do you know what night this is? And she responds, Allah and His Messenger know best. Allahu Rasulhu A'lam. And this was the common response of the Sahabas to the question of the Prophet When he would ask them a question, they would say, Allah and His Messenger know best. Even though they may know the answer, that that night, mid of Sha'ban, she knows it's mid of Sha'ban, but this is the adab with the Prophet ﷺ. Even if they knew the answer, they would say this, Allah and His Messenger know best. And if the Prophet insisted that they answer the question, they would answer the question. But the reason behind this, or among the reasons behind this, is that they would not want to answer the question first. 
they would want the Prophet himself to answer the question because then he may say something new to them. He would teach them something more about that particular issue that he's asking them to answer that question. In this case, do you know what this night is? And then he told it is Nisaf Shaban and in, to indicate why he was spending so much long time in sajda to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this great night of Nisaf Shaban. In another hadith, Sayyidah Aisha radiallahu anha narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Allah Almighty descends in a manner he best knows. The kaifiya, the how of this, we don't question because it's beyond our comprehension. How Allah SWT descends. But the Prophet says, Allah SWT descends in the night of the mid of Shaban. He descends on the night of mid of Shaban. And this is a special descent for this night. And then he forgives a large number of people, more than the number of hairs and fibers on the sheep of the tribe Bani Kalb. Bani Kalb. Now, in terms of the descent of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, every night uh, in the hadith uh, Qudsi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he, he descends to the lowest of the heavens and he asks the angels, what are my servants doing? Even though he, Rabbul Alameen, the, the Lord of all the worlds, he knows everything. But he's asking f to illustrate this point of the, 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 the blessings that people receive who are up in that last third, last third of the night worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are my servants doing? And angels tell him. And then finally, he asks what they're asking for. Give them whatever they're asking for, whatever dua they're making. And that time of tahajjud, that special time of the night. So that's a nightly descent. This now is an annual descent, the night of Nisf Shaban. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends and he forgives. And the analogy that's used here, he forgives more people than they are hair or fiber on the sheep the, uh, uh, that uh, belong to Bani Kalb, the tribe of Bani Kalb. Now, this tribe, this particular tribe, Bani Kalb, is used a lot in the hadith of Nisf Shaban as an analogy. Why? Because that tribe in the Arabian Peninsula, Bani Kalb, they were known for generations to be uh, rearers of livestock, sheep and goat and so on. Uh, they would, that's their career, their job, their occupation. Each member of the tribe, it's a huge tribe. Each member, that's what they do. And they keep doing that. That's their, their, their livelihood. They rear the animals and they sell them uh, for kurbani, and for food, meat throughout the year and so on, uh, like this, but especially for the pilgrimage sacrifice because uh, so many people would come for that. And, and so they were known for, for rearing livestock, Bani Kalb, this tribe with that name. And, and so the Prophet uses that analogy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives more believers on the night of Nisf Shaban, than they are hairs and fibers on the backs of the of the sheep of Bani Kalb, sheep of Bani Kalb, their livestock, sheep, goat, and so on. In in this way, uh, so it's the scholars have mentioned it's the, this analogy is used to indicate a large number of people gain forgiveness from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Uh, on this night of Nisf Shaban because of the great blessings of the night, Nisf Shaban. In another hadith, yet another hadith, uh, Sayyidah Aisha narrated that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, this is the middle night of Shaban, the midnight of Shaban, the 15th night of Shaban. Allah frees in it a large number of people from the fire of hell, more than the number of hair growing on the sheep of Bani Kalb. So once again, in this hadith, Bani Kalb, this tribe is used because of their occupation, their livelihood of rearing livestock, sheep, and so on. 
So each member of each family in the tribe, and it's a huge tribe, that's what they're doing. They have, they have hundreds of, of sheep that they're rearing for, for their li- livelihood. They, they rear them and they sell them in a marketplace at different times in the year in this way. So there are a lot of them. So imagine only on the back of one sheep, no one can count that. It takes a long time because there's so many here on the back of the sheep in that way. So the Prophet Ali, his Lord Islam, uh, mentioning another aspect, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, free from the fire of hell, so many people on this night of Nisf Shaban. In the previous hadith, we talk about forgiveness. So many people granted forgiveness. In this hadith, uh, people are granted freedom from hellfire. But he d- doesn't look to the person who, has, who commits shirk, associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or the person who nourishes malice in his heart against another person. Or the person who cut off the ties of kinship, of relationship. Or a man who leaves his clothes that extend beyond his ankle as a sign of pride. Or a person who disappears his parents, or a person who has a habit of drinking alcohol or wine. So some of those major sins are mentioned. So the person must, must do tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, before this night, uh, so that on this night, or do tawbah at the beginning of this night from all the major sins, uh, so that on this night Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can grant you this great freedom, freedom from hellfire. Fourthly, in uh, another hadith, Sayyidina Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu anhu reports that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Almighty Allah looks at his creation, all this creation, on this midnight of Shaban, the 15th night of Shaban. And he forgives all those created by him except the one who associate partners with him, the one who commits shirk, uh, worship other than Allah or the one who has malice in his heart against a Muslim, another Muslim, in this way. And, and so, uh, these different hadith, and there are many others, uh, indicate uh, clearly that this night has um, special merits and virtues. And observing this night becomes, therefore, a recommended practice that believers should engage in. And, and, and for this reason now, we've noticed for the, the past 14 centuries of the history of this Ummah, that the leaders, the scholars, the elders, the salihin, the pious believers of this Ummah, uh, the Ahlul Tasawwuf, Ahlullah, the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, men and women of Allah, they have always been observing this night in a special way, recognizing the special merits, the special virtues, the special blessings of this night. And they would engage much in, in worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in prayer of, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this night of mid-Shaban. And if the great awliya of this ummah can observe this night, mid of Shaban, the 15th night in a special way, what about us? We need to do it even more. We are more in need of the forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This night, mid of Shaban, Nisf Shaban, has many names that it's described by, descriptive names of the night Nisf Shaban. Or what uh, members of the Urdu speaking community of Muslims are called Shabi Barat. It means the same thing. Shabi Barat is the Urdu of the Arabic, which is Nisf Shaban or Laylat Nisf Shaban, the night of the mid of Shaban. Imam Abu Khair at Talikani, one of the wonderful scholars of Islam, uh, he wrote a book about. Uh, Nisf Shaban and Shaban itself, the virtues of the month. And he mentioned 22 names for the night of Nisf Shaban. And the scholars have mentioned, Kathrutul Asma Taddullu Ala Kathrutul Khair. That if someone has many good names that they're known by, it is an indication of the goodness of that person. Someone has good names, good titles, praiseworthy names and titles they're known by. It is an indication of the 
goodness, the good qualities of that person. Or a place, a place that have many good names or titles. It is an indication that that's a blessed place, a good place. And so this night of Nisvashaban has many beautiful names. We want to share with you some of these names. The descriptive names of the night of Nisfashaban uh, to, to indicate the wonderful great virtues and blessings of this night. Firstly, it is called Laylatul Bara'a or Shabi Barat. This is a night to gain freedom from hellfire. for indicating someone would have fulfilled all their obligations and protected themselves from the things that lead them to hellfire. Therefore, they gain freedom from hellfire. So it's called the night of freedom from hellfire, hellfire Laylatul Bara'a. Secondly, the night of blessing or the blessed night. Laylatul Mubaraka. It's called Laylatul Mubaraka. The blessed night or the night of blessing. It, and it is so called because of the intrinsic, the intrinsic special blessings of this night contained in the night itself, by itself. And because of the closeness of angels on this night and the company of the angels on this night, the angels mingling with the believers on the night of Nisfa Shaban, the 15th night of Shaban, yes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about this blessed night in, in the Quran, Surah Dukhan. Hamim wal kitab al mubin inna anzalnahu fi laylatin mubarakatin inna kunna mungdhirin. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatin mubarakatin. We've sent it down on this blessed night. And this blessed night. In the ayah, many of the scholars and some among the Sahabas also said it is the night of Nisf Shaban, night of the mid of Shaban. So the, the angels mingle with the believers on this night of Nisf Shaban. What an amazing opportunity it is to gain so much blessings from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala by observing this night in a special way to to stay up on this night of Nisf Shaban and engage in. Worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thirdly, it is called the night of distribution. Laylatul Qismah. Laylatul Qismah. The night of distribution. Qisma means distribution, allotment, apportionment, division, destiny, lot, fate, preordained by Allah in this way. And this night is called Laylatul Qismah, the night of distribution or the night of apportionment because of the distribution of risk, of sustenance and livelihood on this night. All of this happens on this night. Uh, and and this, uh, the, the virtues of night is for the entire year. The entire year. And the virtues of the Laylatul Qadr, night of power, 27 night of Ramadan, is for the entire lifetime in this way. That's the difference. Fourthly, this night is called the night of expiation. Laylatul Takfir. Laylatul Takfir, the night of expiation. Because it offers expiation for sins of the present year. Sins of the present year. And some scholars have mentioned from this Shaban to next year Shaban, that year. That's one of the opinion. That it offers for expiation for your sins for the for this year this is the annual expiation this night of mid of shaban laylatul takfir the night of juma laylatul juma offers expiation for sins of the week for the one week the night of juma grants you this opportunity that you engage in much dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Strive to do as much good deeds as you can do. Uh, worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Recite much salawat, for example, on Laylatul Jum'ah. So you gain the expiation of the week. 
And as we mentioned, Laylatul Qadr offers expiation for sins of the entire life. In this way, and, and the night of Nisfi Shaban for the entire year. Fifthly, number five, it is called the night of answering dua. Laylatul Ijaba. Laylatul Ijaba. Ijaba meaning answering dua. On this night, dua, your, your duas are answered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Similarly, a similar concept, it's on Jumu'ah every week. The Prophet ﷺ says on, on Jumu'ah, there is a special period of time, a special hour in which dua is answered. It's called Sa'atul Istijaba. Yes, the, the hour in which dua is answered. And there are uh, several opinions as to when that time is. For example, when the Imam is ascending the member to start his khutbah. When the, uh, sec- another opinion, when the Imam sits down in between the two uh, khutbahs, two parts of the khutbah, after the first part of the khutbah, the Imam sits down, recites salawat, and gets up and do the second part of the khutbah. That's the time when uh, dua is accepted. When the Imam descends the member to do the salah, to perform the salah, Jumu'ah. When, if, when Imam finishes the fard of Jumu'ah, Juma Salah, another time when uh, dua is answered. And the strongest opinion is from Asir to Maghrib. When you finish praying Asir, Asir time, until Maghrib, that's the time when dua is answered. Your, dua, your duas are answered, so you want to make much dua at that time. That's, that's an exam, another example of this concept of Ijabah of answering of dua. So the night of Nisra Shaban is called Laylatul Ijaba, the night of answering dua. And Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, Abdullah ibn Umar, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umar is reported to have said that there are six nights when dua are answered. Laylatul Jumu'ah, as we, we mentioned earlier. Secondly, the first night of Rajab, the first night of Rajab. Thirdly, Laylatul Nisf Sha'ban, this night of the mid of Sha'ban. Fourthly, Laylatul Qadr. Fifthly, the night of Eid al Fitr. The night of Eid al Fitr is called also Laylatul Jaza'a, the night before Eid, when Ramadan completed, the night of Eid. And because you spend all of Ramadan doing all the goodies, and now you get your blessings. You get your recompense, your reward for all the good you do in Ramadan. And sixthly, the night of Eid al-Adha. The night of Eid al-Adha. A great night indeed. So on this night of, the blessed night of Nisr Shaban, you want to make as much dua as possible. Well, I want to recommend to you that before the night of Nisr Shaban, as you hear this lecture now, when you finish, you get your, your notebook and write down all the dua, all the dua you want to make. List them down. All the things of the dunya you want to ask for. What is halal you ask for. You don't ask for what is non-halal, haram things. No, you don't ask for that. What is halal? And for the akhirah, for your akhirah, especially so for your akhirah, all the things you want in the akhirah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save you from your punishment of hellfire, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with Jannah and so on. And then before that, in, in the barzakh, life of the grave, make a dua, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leave this dunya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you from the punishment of the grave and bless you with the great rewards of grief, that your, your, your grief will be rawdatun min riyadil jannah, a garden from the gardens of jannah. In the hadith the Prophet mentioned this, your grief can be a garden from the gardens of jannah, or a pit uh, from the pits of hellfire, the, your grave, depending on how we live our lives in this dunya. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the punishment of the grave. But write down all the dua you want to make, for Nisfa Shaban, don't wait on the night itself. Because sometimes you may forget the dua of, that you want to make. So write it down, you have it with you on the night of Nisfa Shaban and you are spending the, that night in dua. Uh, after, uh, usually we have a collective program where you do all with us and join us in dua. The collective dua is a great 
uh, a way for your du'a to be accepted when the shaykh uh, leads you in du'a, uh, everyone. And then, but once you finish our collective program, you have the rest of the night that you can do your individual ibadah. And that's when you do this. Number six, this is the night of the Eid of Angels. Laylatu Eid al-Mala'ika. This Eid al-Mala'ika, Eid of the Angels. And so just as how there are two days of Eid for the believers, there are two nights of Eid for the angels. The two, this is annual Eid, the two annual Eid for the believers, Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha. These are annual Eids because we also have the weekly Eid. Jumu'ah is the Eid of the week. So you have 52 Eids every, for, for, for that weekly Eid, 52 Jumu'ah in the year, 52 weeks. Uh, but we're talking about the annual Eid, Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha. Because some people say that there are only two Eids in the entire year. No, it's a misunderstanding. It means the two annual Eids, Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha. Because there are other occasions of Eid as well. Uh, one of which being the Eid of the week, so 52 Eids in the year for Juma. And in similarly, how the believers, the Muslims, have two days of Eid, they are two nights of Eid for the angels in the, for the year, for the year. One is the, the night of Nisfa Shaban. The night of Nisfa Shaban is the Eid of the angels. And secondly, Laylatul Qadr, the 27th night of Ramadan. So think about how you are as Muslims, believers, on Eid, Eid al-Fitr, on the great Eid, Eid al-Akbar, Eid al-Adha, you know, on Eid, the Muslims are so happy and they dress up in their best clothing and so on, with that beautiful appearance, then the angels are so happy on their Eid also, commemorating and celebrating on their night of Eid. So think about that for Nisfa Shaban. On this blessed night of Nisfa Shaban, the angels descend on this earth and join the gatherings of the believers commemorating this great night. And so, O believers, spend this night awake and join the angels in giving thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the more you're doing that on this night, the more you, you're attracting the angels, the more the angels are coming and mingling with you. And sometimes you feel it. One of the manifestations of it, of this presence of Indian angels, is that you feel so happy. Inside of you, you feel that sakina, that tranquility, serenity. You feel that inside of you, the, an indication of the presence of angels, that you feel so happy. And this is the night of Nisr Shaban that you, you want to be mindful about that so uh, you can uh, have the great blessings of this night. So this is not a night to sleep. You can sleep afterwards, but this is a night to be awake, to be in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So uh, here at the Islamic Forum, we have every year on this great night, we have special all night program that we want all of you to join us, inshallah, those who can come to the Islamic Forum physically for the program or our live stream broadcast on the YouTube channel and so on. You can join us in other cities, other countries to commemorate this great night. Among the great blessings of this night and the names, the beautiful names of the night, number seven is called the night of intercession. Layla to Shafa'a. Layla to Shafa'a, the night of intercession. For you to beg for intercession from the Prophet. And, and also for you to receive intercession from the angels, from others. Yes, the angels are making dua for you, a night of intercession for you to grant this. So the more you engage in ibadah, the more you grant you granted this intercession. Number eight, the eight uh, name, descriptive name of this night, Nisfa Shaban. It's called Laylatul Jaiza, the night of rewards. The night of reward, Laylatul Jaiza, or Laylatul Jaza. The, this is the night where you receive great rewards, blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, great rewards, increase of rizq, of sustenance, of livelihood, uh, freedom from hellfire, and therefore entry into Jannah. 
all it's Laylatul Ja'iza or Laylatul Jaza, the night of rewards. Number nine, it is called the uh, Laylatul Ta'zim, Laylatul Ta'zim, the night of reverence, the night of veneration, where you uh, venerate the Prophet for example, by reciting much salawat on the Prophet and where you are granted reverence and veneration from uh, on, on this great night. Remember, in our previous in a previous lecture, we talked about the meaning of the letters of the word Sha'ban, Sheen, Ain, Ba, Alif, Noon, and the Alif here, Alif. Uh, refer to Ulfa, this spiritual harmony, and the, the Ayn refers to Ulu, this spiritual elevation that you achieve. And so this night of Niswa Shaban, it is the night of reverence. Number 10, this night of Niswa Shaban is called Laylatul Ghufran, the night of forgiveness, and the night of gaining freedom from hellfire. Laylatul Ghufran, from Ghafara, to forgive, Ghufran, uh, the, from the same root word, Ghafur, Ghafar, these names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are derived. The names derived from that root word, the same root word. So Ghufran, Laylatul Ghufran, for you to gain great forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and also a time for you to forgive others. Yes. This night of Niswa Shaban is to forgive others that, you know, people who may have offended you and so on. It's good to forgive, forget, move on. Because one of the reasons for people not receiving the blessings of this night is that they have malice in the heart against another Muslim. You know, bad feelings in the heart against another Muslim. Then the rewards are held back from them. So you want to free yourself from that. Get rid of all of those negative feelings, you know, forgive others, then you, you, you receive great forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so uh, this night has many names. And uh, as you mentioned, the, the, the preponderance of beautiful names for this night is a clear indication of the virtues of the night the blessings of the night. It is a blessed night. By all means, the Prophet ﷺ treated it in a special way. Treated this night in a special way. Yes. Uh, many are the hadith, and we mentioned some of them, of how the Prophet was on the night of Nisf Shaban. And his dua and so on, on this night. So this is a night that we should celebrate and celebrate in the most wonderful ways of being with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, spending the night with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, awake in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, strive your best to do this and uh, get your family members and loved ones to do this as well. When you finish listening to this lecture, you know, c uh, contact your family members, the members of your household, tell them about the night of Nisfa Shaban, the 15th night of Shaban, so that they can spend, spend it in, in a deserving manner. You tell your relatives, your friends, other Muslims that you know, that they can join the live stream broadcast on our YouTube channel here from the Islam Forum of Canada and, and participate in the night of Nisfa Shaban, spend the night a week to do all the many great things that uh, we should do on this great night of Niswa Shaban, the, mid, the night of the middle of Shaban, one of the greatest nights in the year. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us to do that, to spend this night in a special way and to fast the day after, the 15th day of Shaban. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the strength and the determination to, to do this uh, so that we can receive the great blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this night of Nisf Shaban, the 15th night of the month of Shaban. Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in wa akhir da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.
اللهم بارك لنا في رجب وشعبان وبلغنا رمضان 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 يا ربي بالمصطفى بلغ ما قاصدنا واغفر لنا ما مضى يا واسع الكرم يا ربي بالمصطفى بلغ ما قاصدنا واغفر لنا
لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين جشن يا مري رسول الله الله بيبي آمنك بول الله الله جشن يا مري رسول الله الله بيبي آمنك بول الله الله جبك سرقار تشريف لا نيلك قروغ الماء بخشيا
Astaghfirullah, 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 Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah, 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 Astaghfirullah. أستغفر الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه صلاة الله لا إله إلا Oh, my God.
أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله أما بعد ما دير Respected beloved brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. May the peace and blessings of Almighty Allah be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to our daily live stream broadcast uh, coming to you from your we are here at the Islamic Forum of Canada. We thank you for joining us today on this uh, wonderful Sunday evening here to Zawiya and we hope you can join us every day at 7 p.m. Toronto time, the start time of our program. Do remember to tell your family members, your relatives, your friends and other Muslims you know, tell them about the program, encourage them to watch the program and sign into the chat inshallah. They'll benefit from the program. You will receive increased blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we want to continue our uh, 
Islamic trivia, Islamic quiz. Uh, we mentioned a hadith last night. Uh, the Prophet Ali Islam says, Allah has made a night during the month of Ramadan is better than a thousand months. So, so whoever is deprived of it is truly deprived. This hadith is in the Musnad of Imam Ahmad. So what night is the Prophet referring to? Uh, you can type that in the chat, inshallah. That's from last night. Also, the second question uh, that we, we asked last night for you to answer tonight is, how many ruku are there in the Quran? We talked before, uh, we asked a question about previously, how many Jews in the Quran, you answered that. And we explained that. Then we also asked how many Ahzab are there in the Quran. And we gave you that answer. So tonight, how many Ruku are there in the Quran? So you can kindly type your uh, answer in the chat, inshallah. And some of our other questions from before, we talked about uh, who is the only woman that have a surah named after her in the Quran? We gave you the answer to that question before. Also, uh, who performs the Mojiza? And who performs the Karamat? The Karamat. So those are some of the questions we dealt with before, and we gave you the answer to that. So two questions are for tonight. We can kindly put the answer in the chat. The first, it's uh, the special night. What is the name of that night? And then the, uh, the second question is, how many ruku are there in the Quran? Inshallah. Uh, so I would... Uh, discuss uh, these questions and give you the answer uh, soon, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, tonight our lecture was once again uh, the uh, lecture series on the virtues of Sha'ban al muadham this uh, uh, special month of Sha'ban. Um, and we want to remind you tomorrow night, it's a uh, the special night of Nisf Shaban, the mid of Shaban, the 15th night of Shaban, uh, and Tuesday is the 15th day of Shaban. So today, uh, uh, the 13th of day of Shaban, tomorrow the 14th day of Shaban, and then Tuesday, the 15th day of Shaban. So these are three days recommended for you to fast. Uh, pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you to do so and uh, we hope you're able to fast today you can type in the chat let us know um, how was your experience fasting today inshallah and we hope you're able to fast tomorrow Monday and Tuesday now Monday night tomorrow night for the Nisfa Shaban program here at the Islamic Forum we're starting at 7 p.m. And we have a wonderful program for you, including the special Salah to be recited on that night. It's called Salatul Khair. We will do, do uh, some of it together in Jama'at so you can follow us, inshallah. And we'll also explain tomorrow night about uh, Salatul Khair, inshallah, that you can be able to do it. Uh, then uh, for the night of Nisfa Shaban, uh, the night of uh, Nisfa Shaban, there's special uh, requirements of reciting Surah Yasin uh, uh, three times in particular with three different niyyah, which we'll do tomorrow night. So you can do that with us. Inshallah, it is from the Sunnah uh, of the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that on this night of Nisr Shaban, uh, 
he visited the cemetery in Medina, Jannat al uh, Sayyid Aisha narrated this hadith. Uh, she, she said that the Prophet was in their home and uh, she was lying down and he was praying and then he got up and he left but uh, probably assumed that she was asleep she, but she was not. She saw him leaving so she followed him and he went to uh, uh, Jannat al the cemetery in Medina. Uh, and he made long du'a, uh, crying in his du'a for the Muslims that have passed away. So this has become a sunnah of the ummah uh, for, for Muslims to do this on this night of uh, Nisra Shaban. Uh, so that's one of the things we do here uh, at the Islamic Forum every year. We visit the cemetery in, uh, here in Brampton. And there are two cemeteries uh, here in Brampton. Uh, we're hoping to visit both of them tomorrow night. Uh, the Medivale Cemetery and the Brampton Memorial Cemetery, inshallah. Uh, and so those of you who would like to join us, please do so. The program starts at 7 p.m. here at the Islamic Forum, inshallah. And we hope you can all be with us. Uh, we also want to remind you uh, that on the 18th of March, Saturday the 18th of March, we have the special uh, Welcome to Ramadan Mawlid, uh, starting at 7 p.m. that you can join us here at the Islamic Forum, inshallah, inshallah, uh, to officially welcome the blessed month of Ramadan, alhamdulillah. We also today would like to recognize uh, all our donors, uh, those who donated today, yesterday, and before. Praying that Allah SWT bless all our donors with special blessings for their financial support of the Islamic Forum. Uh, among them, we want to uh, recognize uh, Sister Brenda Williams from Harlem, New York. Sister Bibi Rasul also made a donation today or yesterday, uh, last night. Uh, Sister Bibi Ibrahim, Brother Muhammad Ibrahim uh, from Pembroke Pines in Florida, thank them for their donation. Siti Maria McGee from Richmond, Virginia. Uh, Sister Siobhan Dubé, uh, Sister Halima Khan Dubé and the Dubé family from Ajax. Thank them for their donation to Islam Forum. This is Abida and this is Shamayla from Manchester, United Kingdom. Brother Keith McDonald and family from Toronto. Mulberry Hair Extensions the, and the owner of the company from Atlanta, Georgia. CD Dr. Tahir Chowdhury from California. Uh, Brother Najmuddin Mohammed from Toronto. CD Saliha Chowdhury from Manchester, United Kingdom. Uh, Sidi Rashad Usman Ali from Brampton. Brother Akram Mohanlal and the Mohanlal family uh, from Scarborough. Uh, we thank them for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Sister Shihara Farooq and family. Uh, Sidi Sulaiman Rauf and family. Uh, Sis Aisha Bukhari and family, I think from Chicago. Uh, Sister Nafiza Ali and family from Scarborough for the weekly Juma donation. Brother Rahil Farooq, Sister Humaira Anwar and family. Uh, Sister Shakila Majid and family from Florida. Sister Ghazala Razi and family from Brampton. Siti Wajma Wardak, Siti Rashid Walizada from Markham. Uh, Brother Ridwan Al Chowdhury and family. Uh, Siti Hawa from Los Angeles, United States. 
Sidi Mahmoud Al Hassan for his daily donation to the Islamic Forum, Brother Musa Muhammad and family, uh, Brother TK and family, uh, we thank them for their donation also, uh, Brother Muhammad Nazil Rahim uh, from Palm Coast in Florida, in the United States. We thank him for his donation to Islamic Forum and also his donation for the victims of the earthquake in Turkey and in Syria. Alhamdulillah. Sister Antolina, Nasiruddin and family, uh, Siti Urazia Khan from Scarborough, we thank him for her donation. Uh, Sister Farah Khan and family, uh, Sister Kutsiya uh, Ahmed from Montreal, thank you for her donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Brother Nuzran Najibuddin, uh, Brother Sharjil Farooq again for another donation, Alhamdulillah. Uh, mechanic car and company, the owners of the company. Uh, another donation from City Wajma Wardak. Sister Shamila Raslamali and family. Thank them for the donation, Alhamdulillah. City Samir Al Faisal. City uh, Dr. Tahir Chowdhury, Alhamdulillah. Thank them for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Sister Zairo and family, Alhamdulillah. Another donation for C from Sidi Samir Faisal. Sidi uh, Faisal Tahir here from Vancouver. We thank them for their donation, Alhamdulillah. Sister uh, Farah Khan from Brampton and her family. Uh, Sister Narissa Dean, thank them for their donation, alhamdulillah. Uh, Siti Anissa Khan from Ottawa, thank them for their donation, alhamdulillah. With the Shahriyar Mahmoud and family from Mississauga. Uh, Brother Najib Mateen and family. Uh, Sister Bibi Khan and family, Sister Halima Khan and family, uh, Brother Asif Hamid and family, from uh, Woodstock, Ontario, uh, Sister Aisha Arain family, thank them for the donation. Uh, Dr. Noreen Yaqub from Bari. Uh, Sister Rihanna uh, Amirullah and family from Maple. Uh, Sister Sabah Rauth. Uh, Brother Mohammed Feroz and family from Mississauga. Those are some of the names you want to mention tonight on this Sunday night, uh, recognizing all of them. And uh, these are some of the names of our donors. Uh, we mentioned these names, uh, inshallah, but we can make special love for them and for all our donors, inclusive of uh, everyone, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, we thank all our donors, and we request you to continue to support Islamic Forum with your financial donations, that Allah SWT will bless you, inshallah. So we'll check the response to the quiz. So remember the two quizzes, what is the name of the special night in Ramadan? Uh, so that's Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr. Uh, so several of you responded, alhamdulillah, to the questions. Uh, Uh, including uh, City Razia from Scarborough. City Halima Khan. City Mari Magi. 
City Zero. Alhamdulillah. And uh, City Man requesting dua for her mom who, for her 76th birthday tomorrow. Make special of her, wish her happy birthday on behalf of all of us and the IFC family. Inshallah. So Laylatul Qadr and uh, so if you can uh, you can enter your response uh, for the next question the number of ruku in the Quran so a ruku uh, like before we talk about the Jews the Jews in the Quran they have uh, 30 Jews in the Quran and then we said each Jews is divided into a his two his so that's 60 his in the Quran you talked about that and and then generally uh, each uh, his is divided into well, you have a quarter of a hizb. So a quarter hizb, half zip, half hizb, three quarters of a hizb, and a full hizb, all right? And each quarter of the hizb divided into two ruku. Generally, you know, especially from the beginning of the Quran, it's long, long, longer surahs. Uh, so you have uh, eight ruku in each uh, hizb. So in the two his for the Jews, you have 16 ruku. Now it's called a ruku because it is a place where it's recommended for you to uh, go into ruku. It's, it's a logical stop in terms of the meaning of the verses in that surah. So you're reciting the surah, let's say reciting, um, uh, especially in Ramadan, for example, in Ramadan, we recite the entire Quran in Tarawih. So many of the Hafiz of Quran follow this method. Uh, in each rakat, they would recite one ruku of uh, the Quran. And for, so it's 20 rakat in Tarawih, so 20 ruku, which would be a juz and a quarter. A juz and a quarter, they recite every night to finish the Quran on the 27th night. The khatam. Uh, so it is a this ruku is a point where uh, you would uh, stop that recitation, go down for ruku to finish your rakat. It's a logical point to stop. It's called a ruku, and it's usually indicated by the letter ayn, the Arabic letter ayn, on the margin on the side of the page, ayn, and. Uh, the, inside that ayn, uh, there is a number there which would tell you how many verses, how many ayat is in that ruku, sometimes six, sometimes eight, and so on, like this. So the, 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 the symbols that are there in the Quran, it has a lot of meaning. Anything you see, it has meaning for it. So we, we hope you can learn these things, inshallah, you can know it. So uh, as part of the Quran project, as part of the Quran project. Inshallah. The next uh, question I want to ask, this is for tomorrow night. Uh, and by the way, I'll give you the answer for the ruku, because I was giving uh, everyone a chance to put in their answer, inshallah. So I guess those who have an answer has written it in the chat. So there are 558 ruku in the Quran, 558 ruku. As I said, uh, at, at the beginning of the longer surahs, they, each uh, quarter of a hizb have two ruku. But then as you go on, especially towards the end of the Quran, the short surahs, it's much more, because they, they, they would have a logical stop at the end of the surah, uh, which is fine. Uh, like that, inshallah. So there the, are the 558 ruku in the Quran. So I check in the chat here now. Uh, Siti Maram Magi has the correct answer. Uh, 
Siturasia mm. has a Kora Kansa, 558 Ruku in the Quran. Very nice, very good. Those are the two I, I can see now, inshallah. And I'll check, check the entire chat momentarily, uh, but we'll give you uh, that answer, inshallah. So please write this down. It's good information for you to know. It helps you to enjoy the Quran project more, the IFC Quran project that we have every day, inshallah. So now, the scholars have really put a lot of effort into this Quran, studying the Quran and make it easier for the Ummah. Uh, and so the 30 Jews is uh, for you, if you want to finish the entire Quran in one month, you'll recite one Jews every day. So in 30 days, you finish the Quran in that way. If you want to finish two khatams of the Quran in every month, you would recite two Jews every day, like that. If uh, you recite one Hizb of the Quran, you would finish it in two months, because six the Hizb in the Quran. Um, and uh, if you want to recite, let's say, the Quran, the entire Quran in seven days, there's another division of that. Inshallah. So th these are, you know, important information for you. I'll go to the chat now, Inshallah. Uh, at the top of the chat, there are several messages from the admin staff. Uh, please go through those messages so you can respond accordingly. The book that we are featuring, at uh, this time of the year, our latest publication on Amazon.com, uh, Miraj Nabi. Miraj Nabi, the book is available on Amazon.com. The link is in the chat. On the new release, uh, uh, the, this is our latest publication that we've released on Amazon. The link is in the chat. Click on the link to get your book. And we recommend that you get additional copies for your loved ones, family members, or relatives or friends, your loved ones, you can give them as a gift, inshallah. You get you know, more copies, make a list of the people you like to give a gift to, like uh, for Ramadan, beginning of Ramadan, to welcome Ramadan. You can uh, uh, get this book, inshallah, and give it out to them as a gift. So Miraj and Nabi, a beautiful book on the seerah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah. And do remember as well, uh, our Islamic school every uh, Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. You can uh, bring your children on Saturday after 10 a.m. and register them for the Islamic school. Alhamdulillah. At the top of the chat, today, number one, we have Siti Lazina Kharmular and family from Pinal Halak in Trinidad in the West Indies. Welcome, Siti Lazina. Thanks for joining us. Second chat today, we have uh, Brother Keith McDonald, Sister Ola, Brother Juan from Toronto. Welcome, and thank you for your monthly donation to the Islamic Forum. Third in the chat today, we have Siti Marmagi, Siti Bilal, Siti Elijah from Richmond, Virginia. Uh, welcome, and uh, Siti Marmagi says, Shaban, Mubarak greetings, and Nis for Shaban, Mubarak greetings. To our beloved Pai Sayyidina Sheikh Faisal, your beloved noblesse and family, Muriz Admin Staff and IFC family. Sheikh Kran Siddi Mara for remembering everyone, mention my parents and family. May Allah SWT bless you, bless your entire family, inshallah. Thanks for joining us and thanks for participating in the quiz as well. It, it helps you to improve your knowledge. We encourage all of you to participate in the trivia, Islamic trivia, or Islamic quiz that we're having, you write down the questions, write down the answers and so on, do some studies, some research to get a correct answer, put, type it in the chat like this, inshallah. Uh, Sister Bibi Ibrahim, Brother Muhammad Ibrahim and family, 
from Pembroke Pines in Florida, in the United States, welcome. Says great to Sheikh Faiz for the daily blessed programs. Alhamdulillah. We thank you for your donation to the Islamic Forum as well. We mentioned earlier tonight. Do remember to reach out to other Muslims you know and tell them about this program. Encourage them to watch the program. Remind them from time to time to watch the program and sign into the chat. Inshallah, they'll benefit from the program. You'll receive increased blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah. We welcome uh, Brother Mustafa Bashir Deen and his mom, Sister Zirin Bashir Deen from Markham. Welcome, thanks for joining us. Make for you, uh, your, your family, your Esri Shafad who passed away, Alhamdulillah. Make dua for all of them. And Brother Mustafa Bashir says, very nice voice, Brother Sheikh. Sheikh, Alhamdulillah. Shukran for your feedback. Um, and uh, throughout the day, Brother Mustafa Bashir Deen, you can you know, look at our program because we have the repeat broadcast all day, all night for you to benefit from, inshallah. Uh, Siti Nisha Muhammad and family from Better Hope on the east coast of Demerara in Guyana, South America, welcome. We make do for you, your family, your friend uh, Sumintra Sahadio, who's recovering uh, from her surgery. May Allah SWT grant her Shifa and Taman. Tell, you, tell her you make dua for her to feel better, inshallah. And uh, continue to remind all the Muslims here in Better Hope, on the East Coast of Demerara, other places, about the, this program, and encourage them to watch the program and sign into the chat, inshallah. This is Shaquille Majid and family from Florida. Welcome, this is Shaquille Majid. Thanks for joining us, alhamdulillah. And Brother Mustafa Bashir, you make dua for you as requested, inshallah. So, Sidi Maram says, uh, Sayyidina Sheikh, the answer to the question, there are 558 ruku in the Quran performed in Torah in Ramadan. Can you explain this equation for us? So, I mentioned some of the things in, in my answer. I, I'll uh, just hopefully clarify it a bit more. So, in the Tarawih Salah, in the month of Ramadan, every night we re recite a portion of the Quran, usually a Jews and a quarter, so that we can finish on the 27th night of Ramadan. This is in most places that we do. Uh, and uh, so, each quarter his, remember we said the tortages in the Quran, each just divided into two his, so six his. So each his, which is half of a Jews, uh, is divided into four quarters. A quarter, half, three quarters, and a full his. And each quarter is divided into two ruku. So it's just a page, usually a page or a page in two or three lines like that, depending on how it's, the division is. So the, the rationale, the reasoning behind the division of the ruku is uh, that's a logical point to stop in terms of the meaning of the verses. It's a logical point to stop, so then you, go, uh, you stop your recitation, go down for ruku. So this is now the name of e, a ruku, that portion recite, a page and slightly more. Uh, and th this this division takes place, the, you know, the, the the beginning of the Quran for the long surahs. When you go towards the end of the Quran, the shorter surahs, it's less. So, and that's why the total number becomes 558 ruku in the Quran. Inshallah. I hope that helps. Let me know, Siti Mariam. And thanks for asking the question. And Siti Maru requesting dua for uh, Sister Aisha Maru, who passed away in Ghana. She's the mother of Bintu Maru from Washington, D.C. So we make dua for her and please convey our condolences to uh, 
the, her daughter Bintu Maru in Washington, D.C., tell you make dua for her mom. And encourage uh, Bintu Maru to look at our program, inshallah. Siti Razia Khan, uh, Siti Razia Siti Tariq from Scarborough, Sis Yasmin from Boneville, welcome, wishing Shaban Mubarak and Nisfa Shaban Mubarak greetings, uh, dear Sayyidina Sheikh Faisal, beloved parents and family, and the IFC family. Alhamdulillah, Shukran Siti Razia. Auntie Betty Amin and Dean from Toronto, welcome. Wishing Mr. Shaban Mubarak greetings and Shaban Mubarak greetings to Zaydin Sheikh Faisal and his family and the FC family. Shukran, Sister uh, Zairul and family from Toronto, welcome. Wishing Mr. Shaban Mubarak greetings and Shaban Mubarak greetings to Sheikh Faisal and his family and the FC family. Alhamdulillah. Brother Ahsan Shabir and family from Italy. Welcome all the way from Italy. Thanks, Jarnik. We make dua for you and your family is requested, inshallah. And do remember to tell all Muslims you know in Italy about this program and encourage them to watch the program and sign into the chat. Uh, Sister Brenda Williams and family from Harlem, New York. Welcome. Alhamdulillah. Wishing Shaban Mubarak greetings and Nisra Shaban Mubarak greetings to Sayyidina Sheikh Faisal and family, Admin Staff and FC family. Alhamdulillah. So it's grateful to be able to continue to obtain spiritual guidance from, from Sheikh. Thank you, Sheikh. Alhamdulillah. And Sister Brandon Williams says, IFC Salawat project, 1100 today for a total of 91,000. IFC Quran project, up to soon number four. Very good progress, Sister Brandon Williams. May Allah bless you and we thank you for your frequent, regular, generous donations to the Islamic Forum. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enrich you many more times, increase your risk and put barakah in your wealth for your, all for your donations to the Islamic Forum. Sidi Sharif Al Faisal and family from Scarborough, welcome Sidi Sharif Al Faisal. Wishing Shaban and Mahdi Mubarak greetings and Nisfa Shaban Mubarak greetings to our noble beloved Paisa, Sayyidina Sheikh Faisal. Blessed and loving parents and family, Maurice admin staff and IFC family. Uh, shukran, Sidi Sharif, may Allah SWT bless you, bless your family. Alhamdulillah. Siti Hasib, Siti Asil, Siti Asil, Siti Nasheen, Siti Aram, Siti Akif. Welcome to all of you from Brampton. May Allah SWT bless all of you. Alhamdulillah. Wishing Shaban Mubarak greetings and this for Shaban Mubarak greetings. Alhamdulillah. Sister Abid and Sister Shamail and family from Manchester, United Kingdom. Welcome. IFC Quran Project, five Jews of the Quran today. IFC Salawat Project, 25,000 Salawat recited today. Very nice, Alhamdulillah. And Sis Abdan Shamal says, uh, Attitude of Gratitude, a gratitude project. We are grateful for the Miraj and Nabi book. It is easy to read, broken into easy chapters with detailed information. Alhamdulillah. Thanks very much for your feedback, Sis Abdan Shamaila. Uh, so do continue to share the link uh, for the Miraj book to all your friends in the UK. Uh, it's available on Amazon.co.uk, inshallah, so that they can also get their Miraj and Nabi book. And this is a, a good book to teach uh, to your class at the academy, inshallah, that the students can benefit from this wonderful book of, on the seer of the Prophet wasallam. Siti Ruxana Begum and family from Brampton, welcome. Thanks for joining us. I have seen Quran project up to Sutul al Mursalat. I have seen Salawat project 2000 today for 119,000 Salawat for the year so far. Make do for you and your family. Siti Ruxana Begum, very nice progress. Continue great work you are doing, inshallah. Sister Shireen Jabbar and family from Scarborough, welcome. Thanks for joining us. May Allah SWT bless you. Brother Shafqat Khan and family from Mississauga, welcome. Says, please let us know the details of the program tomorrow. So we're starting at 7 p.m. with the program. We'll be doing special Quran recitation, dhikr, dua, 
in the first part of the program. Uh, then we have the recitations of Surah Yasin with a special dua for Nisf Shaban. Uh, we have Salat al Khair, the special Salah for this occasion that we'll be doing, inshallah, and including the education aspect, the lecture for the significance of Nisf Shaban. And also, we're preparing dinner for everyone as well at the end of the program. The formal program here at the masjid, and once we finish dinner, we'll proceed to the cemetery. We're going first to Meadowville Cemetery, and when we finish here, we're going to Brampton Memorial Cemetery, inshallah. The two cemeteries in Brampton, where they have Muslims buried there. So you'll visit the Muslim section, make dua for the end. Well, everyone buried there, all the Muslims, and then for all your parents and loved ones that have passed away, and for the entire Ummah, inshallah, all those Muslims that have passed away. So it's a great occasion. Once we finish here, whoever would like to come back to the masjid, uh, we'll come back and we'll do individual ibadah, Salatul Khair in particular, and then recitation of Quran and dhikr and much dua. It's a night when dua is accepted. It's called Laylatul Layla to Ijabah, night of acceptance of dua. So I hope that uh, enough information for you, Brother Shafkar Khan and family. You can let me know if you have any follow-up question, inshallah. Siti Hafiz Hussein, Sidi Azam Hussein and family from Brampton, welcome. And we also welcome Sidi Azam to the Zawiya tonight. Sidi Azam is here with us in the Zawiya. May Allah bless him more. Siti Halima Khan and family from Markham, welcome. Wishing Shaban Mubarak greetings and this for Shaban Mubarak greetings to the IFC family and to our Noel Pais, Sayyidina Sheikh Faisal, his Noel Pais family, Maurice admin staff and the anti IFC family. Shukran for remembering everyone, Alhamdulillah. And Siti Halima Khan says, uh, IFC Salawat project 5,000 today for a total of 315,000 Salawat for the year so far. IFC Quran project up to student number 40. I recited with Alam three times today. Very good, Alhamdulillah. Siti Shaima Masood and uh, Siti Jesse from uh, California, welcome. Wishing Shaban and Ma'adha Mubarak greetings and Nisfi Shaban Mubarak greetings to our noble beloved Pais Saitna Sheikh Faisal. Blessed and loving peers and family, Maurice, admin staff, and the IFC family. Shuk Shukran Siti Shaima, uh, Shaima Masood. Uh, for remembering everyone, mention my parents and family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, bless your entire family. Alhamdulillah. Shukran for joining us tonight. We hope you can join us uh, every night, 7 p.m. Toronto time. You know, if you're a bit late, that's fine. Uh, sign into the chat. Uh, so welcome, uh, Sidi Shaima Masood and Sidi Jesse Moroni from Long Beach in California. Alhamdulillah. Thanks for joining us, both of you. and uh, recited the weird alarm twice today along with other prescribed dhikr. Very good, alhamdulillah. Sister Zami, Bibi Zaminur Razak and family from Cotton Tree Village, West Coast, Barbies in Guyana, South America. Welcome, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, thanks for joining us. I see the Shaima Masood said, grateful for explaining, uh, the explanation of the Sheikh, Sheikh Faisal about the power of giving and the beauty of the Quran. Very good, may Allah bless you, alhamdulillah. Siti Ali Khan and family from Bram, from uh, Ottawa, sorry, from Ottawa. Welcome, Siti Ali. Uh, thanks for joining us. May Allah Subhanahu bless you, bless your entire family. This is Bibi Rasul, Bibi Rasul from Etobicoke. Welcome, make door for you and the entire family as requested, inshallah. Siti Muhammad Zahir and family from Birmingham, England. Welcome. Thanks to your door, you make door for you and your entire family, inshallah. And Sidi Muhammad Zuri says that uh, Sidi Asim's Nana uh, has passed away in Pakistan, make door for him. In Allahi, wa inna ilayhi rajaun. Shukran, Sidi Muhammad Zuri, for letting us know. And please tell Sidi Asim that we send our salams to him. And we make uh, dua for his uh, grandfather who passed away in Pakistan. Alhamdulillah, very nice. 
Siti Hawa, Siti Uzay from Los Angeles in United States. Welcome. Alhamdulillah. Thanks for joining us. Siti Faisal Tahir from Vancouver. Welcome, Siti Faisal. Thanks for joining us. May Allah SWT bless you. Alhamdulillah. Sister Farida Gafur and family from Nampral on the east coast of Demerara in Guyana, South America. Welcome, this is Farida Gafur. Thanks for joining us. Alhamdulillah, we can join us every day, 7 p.m. to around the time. And do remember to tell all the Muslims you know in Guyana about the program and elsewhere uh, about the program. I encourage them to watch the program, sign in the chat, inshallah. And Siti Halima Khan says, uh, from last night question, there are 558 Ruku in the Quran. That's correct answer, alhamdulillah. And thanks for your greetings, Sister Bibi Rasul, alhamdulillah. Uh, Aisha Salawat Project completed 1,000 today for a total of uh, 12,000 so far. And we make do for you and your families who care, Sister Bibi Rasul, for your mom, father in law, all of them. We make do for all of them, inshallah. May Allah bless them. And may Allah grant you Shifa. Uh, Sister Bibi Rasul said she fasted today, wasn't feeling too well. May Allah make you feel strong, inshallah. You can fast tomorrow and Tuesday. And your fast is valid, had pain in throat and so on. That doesn't nullify the fast. Siti Raja said there are 550 Rukun the Quran. That's the correct answer. Siti Halim says the special night is uh, Laylatul Qadr, uh, 27th night of Ramadan. That's the correct answer. Siti Mara Magi says the na name of the special night in Ramadan is Laylatul Qadr, 27th night of Ramadan. And the second question, there are 550 Rukun the Quran. Correct answers. Alhamdulillah. Siti Zairul says uh, Lalutul Qadr, name of the night, and 550 Rukun the Quran. Very nice, Alhamdulillah. I'm impressed with all your correct answers. Siti Marmagi says, Grateful to Allah one for you, Sayyidina Sheikh, uh, feeling excited, blessed Sunni events this week. Alhamdulillah, feeling humble as well. Very nice. I will make do for your mom, 76th birthday tomorrow. Please wish her a happy birthday on our behalf, on myself and the entire IFC family. Shukran. Sister Zara says, happy birthday to Siti Maram's mom. Wishing Allah's choices blessing. Shukran. Thanks for giving your greetings, Siti Zara. Uh, Siti Shamir, Siti... Sami, Sidi Amir, Sidi Shabir, Sidi Samir, Sidi Shafir, Sidi Shazia, Sidi Sadiqa, Sidi Alima, all from Queens, New York, and United States. Welcome to all of you, Alhamdulillah. And Cesar says, I paid for three Miraj and Nabi books. I didn't get it yet. It's on its way. Uh, we didn't receive it as yet. As soon as we receive it, uh, 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 Siti Hafiz will let you know, inshallah. Siti Halima can make door for you as requested, inshallah. Sister Bibi Rasul, be happy birthday to Siti Mariam's mom. And Siti Mariam says, Sayyidina Sheikh, uh, mashallah, shukran again for this quiz and for explaining the answers. A blessed way to retain this knowledge. Shukran, shukran. Amazing knowledge, alhamdulillah. And Sister Bibi Rasul says, Sheikh, I have learned uh, so much with your question and answer. Thank you. Alhamdulillah, that's the idea for the quiz or the trivia that you can learn more things, inshallah. It's good to write it down, however. I want to request all of you to write these information down in your notebook for, that you have for this program. If you don't already have one, try to get one, a nice hardcover notebook from Staples or other office supplies. Uh, Sibi Rusu says, uh, I learned so much from the question and answers. Like today, I did not know how many ruku in the Quran, but now I know. Very good, alhamdulillah. 
Sri Manasa Sheikh Sister Bintu is my sister here, Silas, in Washington, D.C. to offer condolences. She said she knew and spoke every, very highly of you. Alhamdulillah, very good. I encourage you to watch the program. Uh, you can share the link with her, the YouTube link, that she can be watching the program regularly, inshallah. And CD, uh, CD Jesse says it is advised for us to visit the graves in our ears as well. So, yeah, you can, uh, you know, the Murids, you can get them together and uh, you can visit uh, the Muslim sections of the cemetery uh, in your area and make door of all the Muslims, inshallah. And Sidi Bilal says, I remember last year in Tarawi, we wonder why the Ruku was done in that way, we now know. Alhamdulillah, Shukran. Siti Halim Khan says, Happy birthday to Siti Marim's mom. Uh, Sister Hidayah A from the UK. If you can kindly put the city where you're from in the UK, Birmingham or London or Manchester, wherever you're from, you can type it in the chat, inshallah. And Sister Hidayah says, Assalamu alaikum dear Sheikh Faisal, please give me blessed dua for Shifa. We make dua for you. May Allah subhanahu grant you Shifa. Alhamdulillah. And um, for your Shifa that you mentioned, Sister Hidayah, if you can take a glass of water and recite your Fatiha seven times, blow in the water and drink that water. Keep doing that regularly, as often as you can. Inshallah, you'll, you'll get Shifa. Siti Halim Khan says, I'm enjoying the quiz. Alhamdulillah, we hope you're benefiting from it as well. Very good. So those are the brothers and sisters in the chat, inshallah. We'll make dua for everyone in the chat, special dua for them. Also, everyone online watching the program, make special dua for them. And the entire FC family, we, make, we continue to make dua for the victims of earthquake in Turkey and in Syria. Uh, special blessings for them from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And do remember them in your du'a as well. And go to the Islamic Reform website, to the donation page. And there's a special button to donate for, to help the victims of the earthquake in Turkey and in Syria. We make du'a for all of them, inshallah. There's several requests for du'a. We include that near in du'a, all those birthday, those who passed away and so on. We make du'a for them. Also, we make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our upcoming, upcoming programs. Tomorrow night, Nisra Shaban. Don't forget this. Tell everyone you know about the Nisra Shaban program tomorrow night starting at 7 p.m. And if you're in the GTA, the Greater Toronto area, come to the Islamic Forum for 7 p.m. inshallah. If you're out of the country, other places, join us online. 7 p.m. Don't be late. It's a great night for you to spend this night for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, the special dua for Nisru Shaban. Uh, we'll be reciting that dua uh, as part of the program, inshallah. And all the different things that the awliya taught us to do, we'll be doing that. Special salah and so on. So do make arrangements to spend the night tomorrow with us, whether here in the Masjid in the Zawiya or online. And may Allah bless you for doing so. And also after uh, the Nisru Shaban program, the next ma ma major program we're having is on the 18th of March, Saturday night. We're having a Maulid for the Welcome to Ramadan program. So do remember that. Uh, write down that date so that you can uh, you can be present with us, participate actively in the program, inshallah. And Sita Halimikan says, today I recited Hezbollah Bahar twice for the Sheikh. So, uh, that's very good, alhamdulillah, and, and we want to encourage all of you to do so for the Sheikh's visit to Africa. You recited the Khatam of the Hezbollah Bahar. Start doing that once, twice, three, four, five times a day, and so on, inshallah. Very good. And Sis Birusu says, can women visit the cemetery tomorrow night? Yes, as part of our program here at Islamic Forum. We do that. You, you go to other masjids, they may have other rulings, so we're not talking about that. We're just talking about the Islamic Forum. If you like to go to the cemetery, come and join us. Uh, inshallah. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. So, 
Uh, please raise your hands and join me in dua. Allahumma ameen. A'udhu billahi samil alim in ash-shaytan rajim Bismillahi rahman rahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Ar-Rahman rahim Maliki yawm dini Iyaka nabudu wa iyaka nasta'in Ihdina sirat mustaqim Sirat al-lazina namta alayhim Ghayril maghdubi alayhim Walad dhalim Ameen Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin Abdika wa rasulika nabiyya al-ummi وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بكل رياضمة ذاتك في كل وقت وحين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين لا إله إلا الله الحليم الكريم سبحان الله رب العرش العظيم والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم إنا نسألك موجبات رحمتك وعزائم غفيرتك والغنيمة من كل بر والسلامة من كل إثم اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا دينا إلا قديته ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة هي لك رضا إلا قديتها برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وادخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم آمين 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 May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in tawfiq and kubul and ziyada. Do remember to type Ameen in the chat for the dua, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept your dua and increase your blessings. Uh, we thank you for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow night for the Nisfa Shaban program. Please tell everyone you know, message everyone you know, send a, send a message to all your contacts on your phone and elsewhere. Uh, tonight, to remind them about the Nisr Shaban program tomorrow at the Islamic Forum that they can come at 7 p.m. and join us, inshallah. And may Allah SWT bless you. May Allah SWT keep you always in the shade of His special mercies. Until we meet again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.